the formidable robot. You wouldn't think something as random as characters from a series of greeting cards could scare someone, right? Especially if said characters are a pink cat and a green rabbit. Well, believe it or not, that's actually what happened to me when I was around four or so. First, for some context, I'm talking about Goops and Yo-Yo. They were two characters created by Hallmark. Yeah, the same Hallmark that's mostly known for those Christmas specials they'd broadcast ad nauseum. In addition to a TV channel, they also had stores and, apparently, e-cards. These would usually feature two characters, a pink cat named Hoops, and a green rabbit called Yo-Yo. There were a few other characters that would show up too, but they aren't that relevant for most of this story. Now I know what you're thinking, how the hell could something so inoffensive scare even a super young child? Well, I didn't know myself for a while. All I could remember though was scrolling through YouTube, finding some animation of hoops turning scary, and I pulled the plug on the computer screaming and crying. Whatever that frightening video was, it was my first introduction to the characters, so I was understandably hesitant to revisit them for a while. But eventually I sucked it up and decided to check them out again. It was actually pretty charming, albeit a bit annoying at times. Though something about Goops and Yo-Yo themselves seemed off to me. I remember differences like Hoops having a smaller nose, Yo-Yo having a tail, and their overall colors being duller. None of that rang true for the versions of the characters I had been watching lately. I tried to find the original video again, but I couldn't. So, I did what most people would do in a situation like this, and made a forum post. Damn near nobody responded though except for one guy. They didn't give any further context, they just posted a link. Hesitantly, I clicked on it, praying I wouldn't get ransomware or something. It was just a big white web page with nothing but hyperlinks colored in blue. I was about to click off, but I took some time to read the titles. They were all formatted the same, starting with pay demo, and then a random word. I clicked on one of them, where the word was match. It was a short 15 second animation. All it showed was Yo-Yo lighting a match, and then the flame just combusted, causing the rabbit to be turned hairless and completely black, save for his eyes. Two things I found especially interesting. First of all, it was a bit more mean-spirited than the usual stuff you'd expect from these characters. Secondly, these design of Yo-Yo here looked much more like the ones I remembered in that Scary Hoops video. He had a proper tail, a colored circle on the stomach, a pink nose, and duller colors. And sure enough, when I clicked onto another video called Bat, where Loops accidentally hits Yo-Yo in the face with a baseball bat. Goops also looked more familiar. But he had something I hadn't remembered from the video, that being a pair of whiskers. My conclusion after looking at a handful more of these was that they were just animation tests that, due to the fact they were never meant to be released to the public, could be a bit darker and meaner than the e-cards that were published. Not dark as in murder or swearing, think more dirty jokes and slapstick violence. I just kept clicking through these, and noticed that none of the videos featured the secondary characters. I found it interesting, but not particularly odd. That was, until I finally found it. Hey Demo Pet.WebM Somehow, I had a duck feeling that this was the video that scared me as a child. I had no idea what made me come to that conclusion, but I clicked on it, and lo and behold, my suspicions were confirmed. I paused it as soon as it started, giving myself a bit of time to prepare. I know, how scary could a video about two talking animals be? What you gotta understand is that whatever it was stuck with me for a reason, so if there was something super shocking in here like, I don't know, Koops' face being replaced with a picture of a real mangled human, I would have the proper courage. Plus, I still jump at some of the cheapest scares there are, so I think I have an excuse in that area too. When I clicked play, it displayed Hoops and Yo-Yo just standing against a grainy red background. Now, the design here was what I remembered. No whiskers and duller colors. But the contents of the video were the important thing, so let's get back to that. Hoops was doing some weird dance as I could describe it. Though I can barely call it that, it was more like he was shifting his hips and shoulders side to side as his head rocked along with the movement. Yo-Yo on the other hand, looked at Goops with concern. Then he spoke. 
Folks? Folks? Goops didn't respond, he just continued the weird dance he was doing. Yo-Yo's concerned frown turned into an amused smile, as he took a few steps towards the pink feline. He spoke again, this time chuckling a bit. <laughs> okay, real funny hoops. You can stop. Before he could finish, I shit you not, a tentacle emerged from Hoops' back. It grabbed Yo-Yo, as a black vignette overlay started to envelop the scene. What the- Hey! What are you- Hoops finally said something, as he flashed a smile full of rectangular teeth, and a second mouth manifested onto Hoops' stomach. Unlike the previous animations where he sounded pretty close to the final product, here he sounded way more high-pitched and modulated, as though the people making the video wanted them to sound like an alien or robot. All life will be assimilated. All life will be hoops. For a few frames, it showed Yo-Yo being pulled towards hoops before cutting to black, but there were still sounds. All that I could hear were stock monster sound effects, Yo-Yo screaming and some nasty goo sounding noises. <laughs> After the sounds stopped, it cut back to Hoops dancing on the red background again, this time with Yo-Yo missing. But suddenly, another Hoops walked into frame from the vacant space. Where's Yo-Yo? The creature started begging, as Hoops repeated their question, this time more stern. Less like someone threatening another, and more like somebody scolding a dog. I said, where's Yo-Yo? And then the thing started coughing, as it dissolved into a mass of blue sludge, with Yo-Yo curled up, spinning into the center of the screen, with a traumatized look on his face. Pedals! I told you not to do that to people! Hoops said. I wasn't unnerved anymore, now I was just confused. Pedals was a tiny blue hamster in the original brand, how would that translate into a blue slime monster? But Pedals just melted into the ground, as though they felt guilty. Oh, it's fine. I wouldn't be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them started to laugh, as Yo-Yo kept towering in the middle, and the early logo faded in from the bottom right corner of the screen. My final thoughts on the video are this. I can totally see how this would scare the hell out of a younger me, but now I just find it a bit silly. But hey, when you're a little little kid, your memory gets a bit fuzzy. It may not have been a fucking snuff film intercut into the video, but it was still admittedly kinda eerie. And before you people ask about the guy who sent me the link, I DM'd him as I'm wrapping this up. I'll keep you guys updated if he responds. Just be patient.